We are back with Holly, owner of Legal Aid of North Carolina, taking your questions about evictions. You can text us those questions. I've got this question here. It says, what rights do elderly landlords have that depend on this rental income for their livelihood? So regardless of a landlord's age, um, these rental assistance programs are meant to help both tenants and landlords. This is money that landlords are owed and many of these rental assistance organizations make their checks out directly to the landlord. And so these programs are helpful for both landlords and tenants and make sure to get help landlords get the money that they're owed so that they can pay their bills, pay their mortgages, et cetera. Mm -hmm. This question is, can your landlord go up on your rent during the pandemic? So that's very specific to um, your individual lease, your individual rental agreement. Um, there's nothing in the federal moratorium or the North Carolina governor's moratorium that specifically prevents that. Mm -hmm. So it's your lease base, like everyone has a lease. And if your lease says it's gonna end next month and they say, hey, by the way, your rent is going up that next month, that is legal. For the most part in North Carolina, the lease um, prevails, but there are also, um, there's statutory law in North Carolina about things that landlords can and can't do legally. So it's, it, it, it's specific to the lease, but also must fall under um, landlord tenant law in North Carolina. Okay, this question is, does the CDC form apply to evictions or lease terminations unrelated to the non-payment of rent? So I'm guessing if they had words or the, you know, the landlord said, I don't like how you're keeping this and I want to terminate your lease and evict you. That's a really good question. And um, there are legal defenses to all different kinds of evictions uh, during COVID, during these uh, eviction moratoriums or not. And so I would encourage people who are seeking legal assistance, who are facing eviction to call Legal Aid of North Carolina. Um, our phone number is 866-219-5262 and to reach out because having a lawyer in court with you is uh, invaluable and there can be ways to defend against cases for eviction for all different reasons. And this is free help with Legal Aid of North Carolina. Yes. Yes. So that is a key point. And we do have their phone number also and their way to get in touch with them uh, online in our two wants to know section. So we just want to let you know anytime we reference something, we're going to have the information for you. This uh, question is, I'm an owner of a rental. Can you evict a tenant for complaints of noise level disturbance and they have difficulty paying rent? So I can't give specific legal advice about specific facts or, or cases. Um, you can obviously read the North Carolina statute about the different reasons that a landlord can evict a tenant. But um, as far as the moratorium goes, uh, landlords cannot evict tenants for non-payment if they are eligible under either the federal moratorium or the state moratorium. And I would encourage landlords specifically to really read Governor Cooper's order in particular, also the federal CDC order, but Governor Cooper's order made um, put some really strict requirements on what landlords need to be doing right now. And um, it, there are criminal penalties if landlords don't follow those requirements. So I would really encourage all landlords and tenants to read the governor's order and make sure that landlords are complying with those new requirements that Governor Cooper uh, set out in his order. So this person said, can my landlord evict me in 14 days? And they would have to give specific amounts of time anyway. Yes, in North Carolina, the only way a landlord can evict a tenant is through the court system. We, it's illegal to engage in self-help eviction and a landlord needs to file a complaint and summary ejectment. That goes typically to small claims court. You have an opportunity to um, have a trial in small claims court on the eviction or in North Carolina, we call it summary ejectment. And then uh, depending on what happens in small claims court, if there is a judgment entered against the tenant, the tenant has 10 days to appeal that decision. That appeal goes to district court. Um, that's just sort of the general way that summary ejectment cases work in North Carolina. 
Gotcha, okay. Um, so we've had a couple questions about how people applied for the HOPE grant. They haven't heard anything yet. When will I know if I qualify? You should be getting uh, some response back shortly, and they are sending letters out to the 43,000 people who uh, were eligible in that application process in the next week or two, showing that, hey, you have applied and you are getting it and that you can show that to your landlord or to your utility. Um, Holly, thank you so much. Is there anything else you wanted to add quickly? Thank you. No, thank you for having us. And please feel free to reach out to Legal Aid if you have any legal issues um, and you're facing eviction. Great. And so we want to make sure that you are able to get in touch with Legal Aid. So if you go to the two wants to know section right now, this right here is the part where it talks about additional local rent and use utility assistance programs. And this is all over the state. So there are links for each one of you there. Plus, there is a link to Legal Aid of North Carolina, as well as the CDC form so that you can get that as well.